What's happening? Part-time Samurai here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make backups of your favorite Sega Saturn games. Now, before you get started, you're going to need a few things. Number one, a Sega Saturn. Seems obvious, right? But you have to have a Saturn that can read burned discs. I recommend getting a cartridge with Pseudo Saturn installed on it, as this will allow you to bypass the Saturn's disc security settings. You can also install a mod chip that does the same thing, or you can do something called the swap trick but I strongly recommend Pseudo Saturn. If you want to learn how to make Pseudo Saturn yourself, I've posted a tutorial link below. Next, you're going to need a CD burner. Most PCs still include a CD slash DVD drive that has disk writing capabilities, but if you're using a newer laptop, there's a good chance you won't even have a disk drive. So just be sure to double check. You're also going to need quality CDRs. You're going to need writable discs, of course, but you're going to have a better time if you use quality discs. I've heard Verbatim makes some pretty good CDRs, but my personal favorite are the professional quality Taiyo Yudin discs. See how shiny they are? Oh yeah. For disc writing software, let's use ImageBurn. I've burned a lot of games over the years, but this software is hands down the most reliable, and it's extremely user friendly. Definitely make sure you install this before getting started. And last, but certainly not least, pick the Sega Saturn game of your choosing. For this demonstration, we'll use Daytona USA. First thing we need to do is make a copy of our game. Now, obviously, you can skip this step if you chose to download your Sega Saturn file online, you dirty criminals. Anyways, go ahead and insert the game into your disk drive. Open ImageBurn and select Create Image from Disk. At this point, ImageBurn should detect your Saturn disk. Select where you want to save the file and hit start. After a few minutes, you'll have a perfect copy of your Saturn game, which includes both a bin file and a Q file. Note that bin files are the preferred format for burning Sega Saturn games. If you got your file online, double check that it's in bin format. Now go ahead and take your Saturn disk out and insert a blank CDR. Reopen Image Burn and select Write Image to Disk. Again, the software should detect your blank disk. Now click on Search for File and select the Q file for the game you just ripped. Or just downloaded. <coughs> when you select the Q file on ImageBurn, it will promptly load the corresponding bin file onto ImageBurn. Now for the important part. Select your burn speed. The general consensus of the Saturn community is this. The slower the burn speed, the more accurate your disk will be. Meaning you are less likely to end up with a disk that just won't work. I recommend either 4 or 8 write speed. Now with your speed selected, hit burn. Let image burn do its thing, and after a short wait, you'll have a burn CDR ready to use. Now it's time to test it out. Pop it in your system, let Pseudo Saturn boot up, and select start game. If your burn was successful, your game should start. Well, I hope this tutorial's been useful and helps you get the most out of your Sega Saturn. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time here on Part-Time Samurai.